My name is Rachel Pass, and I was born the 6th of April, 1854, in Stockport, England. My parents are Thomas and Mary Ann Warmby, and I have ten brothers and sisters. When I was young, my family worked in a factory for our livelihood. Early each morning, we arose and went to work on a boat up and down the Mercy River. Mormon missionaries came to England in 1837, and our family joined the church in 1840. Elder Dame wanted our family to come to Utah and offered to take a family member. Mom couldn't decide which one, so Elder Dame said, I'll take Rachel. About the third week on the voyage, there came a terrible storm which tore everything down that could be broken. So bad was the storm that the people had to stay in their beds for three days, the hatchway being closed most of the time, the water being one foot on the first and second decks, washing from one end of the ship to the other and side to side as the ship tossed and rolled. The ship sprung a leak and the pumps had to be kept going night and day until we reached New York. Ebenezer Farns, passenger on William Tapscott, 1862. After we had traveled away from all civilization, we were approached by a band of over 200 Indians who were on the warpath with another tribe. Our leading teamster, Alex Hubbard, who was a resident of Willard, was also our interpreter, and as soon as he informed us that it was food they demanded, the captain had a great quantity put out for their disposal. Mary Ann Taylor Jost, William H. Dame Company, 1862. We finally arrived in Parowin, Utah, and lived with Elder Dame and his two wives, Auntie Vinny and Aunt Viney. I finally saw my family again the 7th of October, 1872, when I was married to James Davenport in the endowment house in Salt Lake City. We lived together for 16 years in Parowin, where James helped his father, Thomas, in the pottery business. I do not remember very much about my mother. I do remember a little black velvet suit which she used to dress me in. She had asthma and was sickly nearly all the time. My father would often carry her part of the way to church, as she would sometimes get too exhausted to walk all the way. William Thomas Davenport Rachel Pass Davenport died the 15th of February, 1889, at the age of 34.